Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. We've been looking at some, some differences between the uh, Christian Standard Bible and the King James Bible. And of course, CSB being based on, you know, 27th, 28th edition of the Nestle Zollin text, the UBS 4th and 5th edition, that there's going to be differences. And we're looking at some of the, the more minor nuanced differences, not the major, you know, verses taken out and all this, but just some changes because people say, well, they're, they're the same thing. They mean the same thing. And we're just going to see if that's true. And I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm trying to be fair and honest in this, in that I have not pre-checked the CSB to see uh, about these. Now, I've got a list of uh, 8,000 differences between, I've done a review on this as a matter of fact, between the Textus Receptus and modern versions. But it's not going to be in every case. So let's see in Ephesians 5.9. Ephesians 5.9, the King James says, For the fruit of the Spirit is all goodness and righteousness and truth. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. So the fruit of the Spirit, we know Galatians 5. So let's look at 5.9 here. And it's small print and it is paragraphed, so I struggle with it. Okay, for the fruit of the light consists of all goodness, righteousness, and truth. The light is... Um, not capitalized. So the fruit of the Spirit, Spirit is capitalized here, even though I know capitalization of Spirit is not uniform in the King James Version. Fruit of the Spirit, obviously Spirit thing. Fruit of the light could be the light of reason, the light of humanity. So that doesn't mean the same thing. It just doesn't. And so there is a difference there. And uh, even though it's contained, it's... Uh, there is a difference. So let's go to Colossians 4, 5 and see if there's a difference. I'm using my trusty little, if the foundations be destroyed, I've done a, a review on that. Colossians 4, 5. And we're going to see if there's a difference there. If it means the same thing. Colossians 4, 5 says, Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without. Okay, so 4, 5 in the CSB says, Act wide, wisely toward outsiders, making the most of the time. Um... So, slight difference. Let's look at 4.15. It says, Salute the brethren which are in Laodicea and Nymphus in the church which is in his house. And Nymphus in the church which is in his house. Let's see 4.15 here. It says, Give greetings to the brothers and sisters in Laodicea and to Nympha and the church in her home. So, one, you've got uh, his home, one, her home. Obviously, it doesn't mean the same thing doesn't mean the same thing. Four, four or five doesn't really mean the same thing. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time and act wisely toward outsiders, making the most of the time. But it, it would be closer than his and her house. Okay, Luke 4.44. Luke 4.44. Let's turn there. You may want to look a little long if you've got a CSB, King James or both, or a New King James or an MEV and see what it says in these because New King James, MEV, um, some of these that are being done in uh, kind of the received text, text type. Okay, so Luke 4.44 Luke 4, 44, and he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea, which are two different geographical locations. So, and so when you're following the life of Jesus, you're doing a chronology of the life of Jesus, this is two different things. This is not the same thing. All right. Um, Revelation 13, 1. Revelation 13, 1. We already saw last video about how John saw an angel, and in the CSB it says he saw an eagle. So let's look at John at Revelation 13, 1. There's a blessing for reading the book of Revelation. Love to do a commentary, an online commentary of Revelation sometime, if the Lord be our help. Amen. Sister Francesca's here filming. Somebody just said, you need to keep Sister Francesca. She's a good camera person. I'm like, yep, thank the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. That was in one of the comments. Okay, and so John says this, And I stood upon the sand of the sea. And I stood upon the sand of the sea. Let's see what it says in here. And uh, it says this, The dragon stood on the sand of the sea. 
So this obviously means different things. In Revelation, uh, in the King James, John is standing on the sand and sea. And that's what makes the most sense because then the dragon is kind of arising. No, it, 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 John is watching it arise out of the Mediterranean region, standing on the, the sea. But here it says the dragon. So John is the dragon. So that's just obviously nonsensical. All right, so um, let's go. So this doesn't mean the same thing. It's just different. So people that say, you know, it produces confusion amongst people. And what if your pastor, what if you're trying to teach somebody? You're, you're going to be teaching different things. And I know you can get all red in the face and yell and scream and, and defend your position. But you're, you're a conservative for the liberals. You're trying to conserve liberalism, if you've ever thought of it. All right. Um, but Christ has appeared as a high priest, this is in the CSB, of the good things that have come. The good things come. But Christ being come and high priest of good things to come. So you can see the change in tenses. To come or has come. All right, let's go to Luke 11.41. Luke 11.41. We'll see how this reads. Luke 11, 41 in the CSB reads this. It says, but give from what is within to the poor and then everything is clean for you. Give from within to the poor and then everything is clean unto you. So let's see what it says in the King James. Luke 11, 41. Luke 11. 11:41 says this, but rather give alms of such things as you have, not from within, like from the dish. Give alms of such things as you have, and behold, all things are clean unto you. So, does it mean the same thing? Nowhere close. All right, um, Colossians 4:8. Let's see what this says. Colossians 4:8. The wonderful church at Colossae, Colossians 4, 8, says this. Because we're supposed to have a perfect book, to have a perfect faith. Um, I have sent him to you for this purpose, so that he know how we are, and so that he may encourage your heart. So he may know how we are. Let's see what it says here. Colossians 4, 8. Colossians 4, 8 says, Whom I have sent unto, unto you for the same purpose, that he might know your estate, that he may know your estate and comfort your hearts. Here, so he might know your estate. And it says this, so that he may, that you may know how we are. So one, they want to know your estate. One is how we're doing. Doesn't mean the same thing. It's different, and things that are different are not the same. One of the first rules of logic. Okay, Revelation 22, 14. Revelation 22, 14. This will be the last one we do today. Revelation 22, 14 says this. Blessed are they, excuse me, blessed are those who wash their robes. Who wash their robes. Last chapter. You don't want to be changing the book of Revelation. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So one wash robes, one's do commandments. They're just not the same thing. So you could argue for the veracity of text types. That's a whole other debate. But you can't say these are two of the same things. And in hundreds of different places, um, they're just different. And it breeds to a everybody does what's right in their own eye Christianity. And it's very bad. But God bless you. Love you in Jesus' name. Keep living for God.